Hello everyone! I am sharing with you 5 tips on how you can make your long distance relationship work. I am ERR Stories and welcome back to Life Thoughts and Inspirations team. Today's episode is actually aligned with the National Month for the Heart, which is February. So I've decided that from now until the end of the month, everything that I'll be vlogging has something to do with love. So, I've interviewed several friends and relatives who are in LDR or long distance relationship. And from that interview, I came up with five best practices that you can do to make LDR work. Number one is you have to set a timeline for both of you. How long will this type of relationship be? I mean, while the husband or the wife or your boyfriend or girlfriend is abroad, um, what will you be doing here in the Philippines? How long will this distance will be? Will you set it like for two years? Three years? Five years? Set a timeline. Because if not, like, you don't know until when. While it is true that they say distance really makes the heart miss the heart of the other person, if it's not clear, then it's gonna be vague and there might be misunderstanding in your relationship. Um, the second tip, okay, second one is they said you have to have something in common that both of you will really agree to do on the same time. Uh, what's, what's really challenging with LDR, especially if the person that you love is not in your same, I mean, is out of the country, okay, is the time difference. So you have to set a common time for both of you where you can talk. Or, apart from that, you set something common that you do together, together, like even apart. So let's say you read the same book or you watch the same, the same movie and then you can talk about it during your um, conversation or when you do chat or text each other. The third one is, uh, um, um, yes, uh, make use of technology to your advantage. Um, there are several messaging apps now that you can use. And actually, this will depend on the country that you are staying. So like, for example, for the Middle East, while you can still chat using Facebook Messenger, you cannot do a video call. So you can try to install Smoothie. Or both him. If you are in China, I know there's no Facebook there, and I think what they use there is a WeChat. Okay, so apart from that, you can also uh, use maybe in, uh, if you are in other countries, Google Hangouts, WhatsApp, WhatsApp, and um, Viber as well. Okay, the fourth tip is do not doubt your partner. Or do not do things that will make your partner doubt you. Wow. Okay. So that just simply means learn to trust each other. Um, sometimes, really, if the person is far from you, you get to, to think of things, right? Even actually when you're in a relationship with someone who's just beside you or you're living in the same house, you still have some doubts. What more if that person is so far from you, okay? So the key here really is to trust each other and to trust in your promise that you'll never let go of each other. Okay? And the fifth one, which is actually my favorite, is to pray for each other. Well, you can do a lot of things, like a lot of things, and try this and that. But without really the Lord um, binding you together, then it would really be hard for you to set timelines, to trust each other, to make use of technology in the right way, or, or even really to, to just continue loving each other, right? So in the midst of temptation of missing your, your husband or your wife, then... A prayer is a strong 
my story okay um before i end i will be sharing with you also a tip from my friend who's who's actually is in a relationship with with a seaman for a long time now and they're getting stronger i think next year or two years from now they're gonna be getting married okay and i promised them that i will be singing for their wedding okay so this is what she said let me read it um um her tip is stop making it work for the sake that it will work enjoy each other's company and don't be bothered by distance if you feel like giving up find that one big reason why you even started yeah that, which is actually true um in every relationship there is a reason why you have committed yourself to somebody that you do not really know right so there um i hope i'll be able to help you especially those who are in this uh, type of relationship and this setup um yeah so thank you again to everyone who has subscribed liked and shared my channel i hope that you get to be inspired every day as you watch my videos thank you thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe like and share to your friends and yes always remember philippians 4 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me bye bye